Has Brandenburg cored Luca yet? No, no, they have not. I also don't think it has um, rebelled, which is a shame for me. Alright, we're holding together here. Cataman is a well, which is bad for me, but it'll be okay. Oh, tell myself what though. I'll happily influence my tiny little subjects. I'm glad to see that the annexation process of Anisa is going better now. All my leadership is dying, unfortunately. So I want this land back in my control. Alright, that was extremely messy, as wars in North Africa often are. But we came out on top. Why don't you use your French diplomats, Jake? Now that's just absurd. What is not so absurd is, well, we already have these two, which are really good. Institution spread's probably going to be pretty useful for global trade. Coastal barrage is always rather nice. But I want this when uh, next institution spawns. This one will get the most use out of it anyway. 35 sounds good. So Cataman does not go down. Why would it? Okay, if I can just piece together North Africa for me and my good old friend the Pope, then everything can come together nicely. Tell you what, I could use one of my French diplomats actually making my subject like me. Might be a step in the right direction. If you had a claim on Luca, wouldn't the AI sell it to you? Well, I have a core on it, and he still doesn't want to sell it to me, but he can't sell anything to me because I'm at war. So maybe when I eventually know something called peace, eventually, he might want to do that. I was Jake planning to get to India. We're going this way. I mean, I can already sail around, but... Uh-oh. Uh Why is there so much blue there? Mm -hmm. I think I know the answer, but I don't want to know the answer. Come on, cameraman. It's time to go. There's nothing left. Whew. So, for real, you're giving me that money. All that money. Not sure about that alliance with Tunis. Could it stay or could it go? It might be more useful than not. And you're no, you're no big deal to beat up, especially since you don't have a fort now. Alright, there we go. That gets rid of Karaman, and we get that province, and we get a lot more aggressive expansion. But we're just starting when it comes to aggressive expansion. Oh, that's looking good. Hopefully there won't be a Morocco for much longer. Um, so I'm just going to gift this land to the Pope after I take it. Because I don't see a good reason to not do it that way. He has a core there at the very least, so I know I can give it to him. And pretty much all this land is going to him. I'm going to keep this for myself because it's a nice place. It's a nice core uh, state to have. Have I already stated it? No, oh, but let me look at this. Of course I want it. Thank you kindly. Good. Give land to Naples, maybe. No, Naples I plan on eating. The Pope I'm keeping around for a long time. That gets rid of the forts that cause me woes. I don't really care about this one, although, hey. Uh, mm, uh, mm. Which date are you in? I mean, that's more for the Pope, and I haven't occupied it anyway, so never mind that. Couldn't directly gift it to him anyway. Yeah, this is really cruel and just what we're looking for. Should be good. Boom. Okay, Pope, it's time for you to eat a lot of land, because I certainly can't digest all this myself. 
It's pretty ruinous land, but you're going to swallow it for me anyway. It'd be horrible if there was some way that I couldn't grant in these provinces. So, for some reason these are in reverse order, but why not? Figwig is yours. As is Odja again. And Kastir. And Kar Senis. Even Oran, although Oran is a pretty. Wait. I always think Oran is the coastal center of trade, but no, it's uh, Tlemcen. Now, where were we, Pope Man? I want you to still have Oran. Even though I cored Dara for myself. Uh, we'll look at that once we've done the other ones. Or does he get the core? I forget. Ah, he gets the core. Sweet. Mitija. And Kabalia. And two more. Can he swallow them both? No, you could have a Naba though. A Naba brings him up to 97. Good job though, Pope. Enjoy and digest that land. I uh, will, of course, be on the hunt for Rebs with both these stacks. You two guys can meet up with, I mean, basically everybody. Just get your asses over there. Good. We are pretty good. Now I want to core this stuff. <laughs> Damn. That is pricey. Well, that's Berber traditions for you. And the fort at least will get rid of the devastation in this area. <clears throat> so all is okay. If you throw them out, can you give them fast African for what? You're not saying real words here. I hope for the day that the Pope moves his capital here, but currently it's still in Anaconda. So the clergy and the burghers are both mad at me, probably because I took a bunch of new land that uh, they really want. So this is a good one for the burghers to get. And something here should be clergy-esque. Hell, you. So there we go. All is borderline okay. Say it is gone, but that's fine. Okay, Lucas survived some pretty awful things. Portugal has been Moroccoed, which is kind of funny to me. My allies and not allies alike still, at the very least, enjoy my presence. Subject is getting integrated. The Mamluks want to coalition me, so I should probably remove them from existence. But they are still allied to Hormoz, which I'm not a big fan of, and I do need to trash Yemen. Hmm. If you move the Pope to Africa, don't you lose all European cardinals? Yeah, maybe, but I'd rather have all of Italy for myself. It's just the right thing to do. Also, he might not even move. He might really not want to move. Okay. I'll probably core con um, convert Constantine for the Pope. It'll help him out a bit. Oh, he finally died. Well, I need to focus Mill pretty heavily, so we'll we'll tell the public he's still alive for a few months, and then we uh, we can elect a new guy. Meantime, let's keep those ideas pouring in, because God, do I need to finally have some army tradition. So I can roll some decent generals of my own. I should probably also, <clears throat> since these are my regulars getting together here, at least they're meant to all be regulars. Do we have any... Uh, there's you. Okay, you guys should be over there. Have you segregated for now, but you guys get training under Ineo's guidance. 
Jake, upgrade your border forts. Mm, I mean, for one, I don't really have any border forts of my own. I have some here, but I don't think we're in a big risk that requires them being upgraded. Then again, it's probably a good idea to guard myself against France if and when he turns on me. And I am going to want these down the line anyway, so okay, these two make sense. Treviso also makes sense to a degree. Well, no, no it doesn't. Cancel that. I don't even want Treviso as a fort. I want Sud Tyrol as a fort. But attacking into Austria is not the easiest thing to do at this point. Hope you're good. Well, you're old, so that means you are taken to the front line. Okay. Tunis still has a coastline. I need to see to that. We're strict, thank God. Must be time to fight the Ottomans. <laughs> Spain's the only one that would consider joining in. Not that I have many friends. Wait, weren't Brandenburg and I friends? I strongly recall Brandenburg and I being friends. Did Brandenburg lose a war? Yeah, we have an old treaties, so Brandenburg lost a war to somebody. Possibly the Ottomans. Ooh, that's kind of harsh, actually. It means I'm feeling a bit friendless. Who would be my friend? <laughs> uh, the illustrious Poland would. He's got plenty of, other, uh, plenty of other friends. Honestly, it's Russia that I would quite like as a friend. They're big with no real threats. The only problem is the my ally is their uh, their rival. Might be able to overcome that, but it would be a lot of work. Republican tradition is low, Jake. Yeah, it is. Gonna hold off on that for a wee bit though. Yeah, Brandenburg didn't do me any great favors in the Alter War, but they are allied with France. And me having uh, France's allies as my own allies is a protection against France in itself. So that I kind of like. So how are you doing on that coring process there, Pope man? It's almost done with the coal, the gold province, which is what I really wanted to have. Fully cored, that is. How does threaten war on Brandenburg look? Probably pretty awful. Let's stop improving relations with Lebanon, because they love us anyway. But probably not great, since, I mean, look at his laundry list of allies. Give me that province, and he just goes, nope. So, not going to be mine, I think. Not anytime soon. Which is a real ball breaker. I still need a friend, though. Wouldn't it be appropriate to donate Constantine to the Pope? Yeah, I will, but he currently has far too much overextension. So if I tried to grant him the province of C -C Constantine, yeah, that would cause him to become overextended. So, in the meantime, I'm converting it for him. Shouldn't take too long, and then I just hand it over. Honestly, though, I would like to chuck Spain as a... Wa oh, Spain and France rivaled. Spain is no longer my best friend. Which means I should use him and abuse him in a war against somebody like the Ottomans. Probably the Ottomans. Um, hmm. Or just crush him. He doesn't have very good friends. France's allies are the ones who should be my allies. But France also hates Russia. Hmm. Wait, I, I don't hate you. I love you. Uh, yeah, that's Morocco occupying Portugal, despite me giving them a sound beating. Okay, I am short on friends. I could really do with another one. The question is who? Poland, Bohemia, Livonian Order, all relatively good picks. Russia, probably the best one, if I could just have a good relationship with them. I don't want to conquer Iberia, period. Even though it would be loads of money in the Genoa node. It's just not where I'm looking to be. I don't really have aggressive expansion around here, so I don't think I need to have that uh, trade policy here. Hmm. <laughs> 
I'm so short on merchants. I would have taken trade ideas, except you know. You know. Could you support separatists in Luca? Probably could. I would need quite a bit of spy network on him, but it's probably worth it to get my capital back. Especially at low cost. So, Pope Man does not have religious ideas, which is really kind of odd to me. I'm still going to influence them because I want high trust with him. And he's uh, very slowly but surely climbing inside my country. Should be done by the next age. There are other things I want. I mean, I would love to... Ah, I still need about 100 development. Who could I eat 100 development from, I wonder? Switzerland's right up there in the list of people I want to crush, but he would be defended by the Emperor right now. Actually, lack of diplomats is one of the painful things around here, even though I really want to claw my way into Le yeah, Yemen and work my way down there. Okay, well, what I'll do is get some boats together then. How many boats, I wonder? How are we force limit-wise? Ten frigates would be nice. Do I have any currently? Of course not. So, what are you? Ten light. Up to it. Uh, not so sure about doubling up on provinces here, though. Oh, is it Venezia and Treviso? No thanks. There are other ways to do this. Tons of development in Yemen, too. Not so sure about tons of it. There is development, but... Oh, well, of course, when I eat up my subject here, I'm going to have all the dev I need for Empire rank. That's convenient. Nothing short of conveniences around here. So the Pope is trying to convert already, and... Okay, looks like he has plenty of additions to... Uh, ooh, tech cost or missionary strength. Clergy liking me or hating me is also a consideration. I mean, I do like them liking me. I'm not sure if it's worth paying all that ahead of time. How long do I tank this for? Just 10 years? Love me. Cheers. South Yemen is pretty tasty. Covered in terra incognita, though. Yeah, I mean, once things calm down around here, things are relatively calm, honestly. I don't think I need this 30 stack, for example. I'm so humanist that these guys don't even want to revolt again. Okay, well, maybe the Tunisians kind of do. Hmm, still feeling the lack of allies here, though. Right, I think it's better to have... Where to, where to even look at this? Poland is rivaled with Brandenburg. Brandenburg isn't that strong, but I want that alliance back. I can get it back in three years. Meanwhile, can I launch a war that's going to last only three years? Well, he's going to stop me from taking male land, even if I bring in the, uh, the Super Spain. He almost gives it up, but... It's worth too much. If he was a bigger guy, then he'd probably give it up. And of course, I'd love to fight Austria. I can fight Brandenburg's rivals pretty free, but none of them are in the HRE. So it's, it's a bit of a moot point. Punj is no big deal. They're just a big waste of space. Warsan Gali and Timurids. <laughs> Timurid is cruel and in debt. And I can't see him, but it might be a good uh, good choice to make my way down to Yemen now rather than later. I can take one of my claims and keep on going. Won't Russia soon have a very big and hairy enemy? 
for you to deal with as their ally. Dunno, we don't see them yet. I can see the Gianagar's capital, but they're occupied by Gujarat and not the bear. Are any of these bear colors? Because I think this is just, um... B -b 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 Bengal. I well, don't know yet. I don't know, I think the time has come for a Yemeni campaign. Um, dangerously close to force limit. I think I could leave the 30 stack to hold on to this, and we'll have the 20 stack come down to help. Yemen's tech is pretty garbage. Hormoz like me, strangely enough. So we could go and fight down there for three years, resecure the alliance, and then start worrying about, okay, no, we've got something else to worry about. The Ottomans probably want to fight me very soon anyway. I mean, he hates my guts, and he has plenty of allies. I should really get some allies. I just want to ally France, I admit it. But if I get one of Brandenburg's rivals, or rather another one of his rivals, then he won't be happy whatsoever. Does Jake bird? Bird is a disgusting term. It's save scumming, and it's nothing short of scummy. And no, I don't. Denmark's an idea. They're one of France's allies, and they're not enemy of Brandenburg. They're also really quite strong, with no natural predators. I mean, I'll take it. I need I need friends at this point. There's no Sweden on their side, but Sweden's a bit paltry. We understand, Jake. You may ally France now. Shh. I wouldn't mind going over the limit on friends just to get some more, though. Truthfully, I'd like Russia. And I know you would say yes, that's the painful part of all this. Perhaps I should just wait to get you as a friend before I declare any of my, uh, my own wars. Yeah, it's the clever thing to do. Is Iceland free? Better believe it. Look at that. Okay, so Russia's declaring something that makes me want to do trade protection? I understand not. Uh, rightful ownership. No, I think you'll find that Rome is ours and always will be ours. They won't be happy about that, but they do not deserve that core on, uh, on Rome whatsoever. It's a shame. I mean, I could culturally enrich it, but that would be a long process to get their core away. They're just going to have to deal with it. Cope with that situation. Okay, I mean, we are relatively in a good position here. We should just look after ourselves. Since I actually have income, I should be spending it on some reasonable advisors. But they're also expensive. Maybe the uh, maybe the clergy could speak to me with somebody nice and cheap. I'm not all about conversions right now, although I will. I think I wouldn't mind one. Unrest reduction guy doesn't make too much odds to me since I have very little in the way of rebel factions right now, which is good. So yes, clergyman, get me that Inquisitor. <laughs> Thought I just bought the wrong guy there. Welcome aboard. Check the money situation in the Ragusa node. It's all flowing away, unfortunately. I don't have a lot of power to bring it in, but I desperately want more merchants. I just can't have them yet. Jake, that was the wrong guy. Well, damn. They all look the same, you know, Umbrians. <laughs> I'm glad someone pointed that out. I would have been none the wiser. All right, so we don't have the biggest or best army around here, but I want to slaughter Yemen, but I'll do it after we get Brandenburg as an ally. 
would love him to sell me that province, though. I wonder why he doesn't. Is it because he thinks I won't buy it because I'm overextended? I already have it set as my vital interest province. Perhaps he's less willing to do it unless he has the, um, the trait for it. Still has more money than he knows what to do with. Ah, oh, the wheel will deal with that. Three siege is nice. Portugal going bankrupt is hilarious. Mecca could give me more money. So could Alexandria, but... Kind of want the ones that actually feed directly into the, uh, the places I'm working with. So as tempting as a lot of these things look. Oh, Prospero. Prospero could be doing it for me. Hang on, Roma doesn't seem to have one. And it's a really nice province. I don't think we need a dock there. Uh, which one is it? Oh, it would be a mill. We don't have what we need there. Well, goodbye dock. Let's actually make some money around here. Decent. You want the embezzler trait for Brandenburg? Aye. Alright, I'm happy enough with the way things are going. Well, maybe not this part. The Ottomans could now declare war on me whenever they bloom and well want. And I never built up my navy like I said I would. So I don't have enough heavies, honestly. I have a bunch of galleys, but I never upgraded them like I said I would. Let's change that right now. Let's upgrade all of our boats. ka -ching. Now they need to drink from our sailor pool. Um, and I still want a few more heavies, because heavies are good. There we go. Now I have something resembling a navy. Are those heavies of mine all upgraded, though? Probably not. Hmm, glad I caught that one. Now the Ottomans immediately hate me. <clears throat> no surprises there. And I could have sworn I had more boats coming. Well, I swear many things. To privateer the hell out of him, because we don't like him. But when war gets declared, for the love of God, go home. Are you going to keep up with the Republic, or do you think about going monarchy? So, we have been, for the longest time, a serene republic. You know what, why don't we go admin republic? That years of separatism would be kind of nice for all the owning that I'm going to do around here. Was there a reason I stayed all garchic? How frequent are the, uh, are the thingamajiggers here? Oligarchic is really painful on the uh, absolutism, though, so I'll probably not want that anyway. Ah oh, well, we'll go that way. Yeah, every five years. More expensive re-elections as well, which is a shame. You have two more ships being built in Pope land for some reason. Well, there goes one of them. The other one was his own. Alright, forget it. Nine's fine. Constantine is done, so Pope can enjoy his new province. This is no surprise, we were ready for Tunis. <clears throat> Very ready. We're getting flanked here, but we're far better than these paltry rebel scum. Good. So we get a spin, but in 96, so two and a half years, I re-ally Brandenburg. And then I fight down in Yemen, safe in the knowledge that I have. Okay, we can see India now. John Mayan. John Mayan. No friends, nothing but war. Tell me, John Mayan, what provinces do you want? Oh. Oh, I see. 
<laughs> you want a lot of provinces then. Okay. Thankfully his tech is garbage, probably because he spawned far away from institutions. But he still has plus 50%... Um, what's it's again? Discipline. Okay. Why don't we have a little uh, little tour on 